Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to make a beautiful placemat. I am going to use yarn of 3 colors for this project and a hook of 2.5 mm. So we are going to begin with yarn of color A and with slip knot. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have to go back to the 4th chain, insert the hook in, yarn over, pull through both the loops as a slip stitch. Chain 1, 2, 3, which counts as a double crochet, double crochet 2, 3, 4. We have to do 12 double crochet into the ring. So complete the round and we will meet again when this round would be complete. When first round is complete, we have to join the stitches on the top of the 4th stitch with slip stitch. Now on the top of the 4th stitch, chain 3 which counts as a double crochet into the same stitch, double crochet 2. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1 into the same stitch, double crochet 2. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1 into the same stitch double crochet 2 so we have to do two double crochet on the top of each stitch across the round complete the round and we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we have to join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with slip stitch now on the top of the four stitch chain 3 which counts as a double crochet on the top of the same stitch double crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch double crochet one on the top of the next stitch double crochet one into the same stitch double crochet two on the top of the next stitch double crochet one double crochet one on the top of the next stitch into the same stitch double crochet two on the top of the next stitch double crochet one so in this round we have to do two double crochet on the top of a stitch one double crochet on the top of the next 2 double crochet on the top of the next stitch, 1 double crochet on the top of the next, 2 double crochet on the top of the next stitch, 1 double crochet on the top of the next. Complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When the round is complete, we have to join the stitches on the top of the 4th stitch with slip stitch. On the top of the 4th stitch, chain 3 which counts as a double crochet into the same stitch double crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 double crochet 1 on the top of the next stitch on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 into the same stitch double crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 so in this round we have to do two double crochet on the top of our stitch one double crochet on the top of the next one double crochet on the top of the next stitch two double crochet on the top of the next one double crochet on the top of the next stitch and one double crochet on the top of the next stitch complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with slip stitch now on the top of the four stitch chain three which counts as a double crochet into the same stitch double crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 so in this round we have to do two double crochet on the top of our stitch one double crochet on the top of the next one double crochet on the top of the next stitch and one double crochet on the top of the next complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round will be completed when the round is complete, we join the stitches on the top of the 4th stitch with slip stitch. Now on the top of the 4th stitch, chain 3, which counts as a double crochet into the same stitch, double crochet 2. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet 1, double crochet 1. On the top of the next stitch, 1 double crochet on the top of the next stitch and 1 double crochet on the top of the next stitch. So we have to do two double crochet on the top of our stitch, one double crochet on the top of the next, one double crochet on the top of the next stitch, one double crochet on the top of the next stitch and one double crochet on the top of the next stitch. Follow the same pattern and complete the round. We will meet again when this round would be completed. 
when the round is complete we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch now we have to cut the yarn from here and pull through tightly now we are going to add yarn of color b to the pattern so we are going to begin with slip knot on the top of the four stitch insert the hook and pull through pull through two now on the top of the four stitch chain three which counts as a double crochet chain two for chain three into the same stitch double crochet two yarn over skip two stitches on the top of the next stitch double crochet one chain two for chain space into the same stitch double crochet two yarn over skip two stitches on the top of the next stitch double crochet one chain two for chain space into the same stitch double crochet two so complete the round by doing B stitch across the round and we will meet again when this round would be completed. After the end of the round we have to join the stitches into the third chain of the fourth stitch with slip stitch. Now we have to come to this chain space of two with slip stitch. Yarn over into this chain into this double crochet. We have to do double crochet one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over. On the top of this double crochet we have to do double crochet one, double crochet two. Into this double crochet we have to do double crochet one, two, three, four, five. We have to join the stitches into this chain space of two with single crochet. Yarn over into the next double crochet we have to do five double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Into this stitch we have to do two double crochet one and two. Into this double crochet we have to do five double crochet one, two, three, four. Five. We have to join the stitches into the chain space of two with single crochet. So complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When the round is complete we have to join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with slip stitch. Now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add yarn of color C to the pattern. So pull through tightly. Now we are going to add yarn of color C. So we are going to begin with slip knot. Now we have to join the yarn into this chain space of two with single crochet. Chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we have to skip three chains into the third one, double crochet one, double crochet two. Into the next chain we have to do three double crochet. One, two, three. Into the next chain, double crochet one. Two, three. Into the next chain, double crochet one, two, 
3 into the next chain 3 double crochet 1 2 and 3 into the next stitch 3 double crochet 1 2 and 3 chain 2 for chain space join the stitches on the top of the leaves with single crochet chain 2 for chain space join the stitches into the next chain space of 2 with single crochet now we have to fold these stitches into a beautiful flower we are going to sew them up at the end of the round now again we have to do chain 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 skip 3 chains into the next one double crochet 2 double crochet 3 into the next stitch 3 double crochet 1 2 and 3 into the next stitch 3 double crochet 1 2 and 3 into the next stitch 3 double crochet 1 2 and 3 into the next stitch 3 double crochet 1 2 and 3 into the next stitch 3 double crochet 1 2 and 3 chain 2 for chain space join the stitches on the top of single crochet with single crochet chain 2 into the chain space of 2 join the stitches with single crochet fold these stitches into a pretty flower complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with slip stitch now we have to cut the yarn from here so Cut the yarn now we are going to sew all these flowers properly to the pattern with the help of needle and yarn So sew them up in the same way and we will meet again when all these flowers would be done and the round would be completed. When we completed sewing all these flowers, we are going to make a beautiful single crochet to the third round pull through two into the next stitch insert the hook in pull through pull through two insert the hook into the next stitch pull through pull through two so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again 
when this round would be completed. This placemat is going to appear like this when it will be completed. You can use this pattern also as a cup coaster, mug mat, mini doily or even as a mini placemat. This can be a very good gifting option too. Thank you so much.